My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, I'm Jeff Makarevich and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today we're going to be making these Mediterranean inspired stuffed chicken thighs. They are stuffed with this olive tamponade that is amazing. And I'm pairing it today with this Pinot Noir from Willamette Valley. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Let's get started. I have our chicken thighs here. They're bone in skin on. But we do want to remove the bone, so I'll show you how easy that is. If your butcher can do it for you, that is great. The bone runs right down the center of the chicken thigh, like this. So you just want to take your paring knife, or if you have a butcher knife, but most home cooks don't have a butcher knife, so I am using a paring knife here, and going down and curling in to the bone when you're doing this because we want to use, keep as much as the meat as possible. So keep going all the way down and come back around like so. So you keep turning, turning, and then you just want to flip it to the other side here and do the same thing on this side. And we're keeping as much as the meat as possible this way. A lot of people also do it with scissors, but to be honest with you, I am not a fan of scissors with this. I seem to lose a lot of meat that way. So now with the knife, you want to rock back and forth and just come in and right, taking it right off just like this. It is so simple. There is your bone and you just want to feel to make sure that there's no cartilage that was left behind. It looks like we did a great job and we want to keep that skin on because that is going to add a ton of flavor. So let me finish the rest over here and let's get stuffing these. Let's start on this easy olive tamponade. Number one tip for this olive tamponade, I'm using Kalamata olives here and capers, but the number one tip is you want to rinse them uh, because it's gonna be way, 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 way too salty. So you wanna rinse the brine off because everything going in here is very salty. Uh, feta cheese going in. Of course, all the exact direction measurements, I should say, are right down below in the description center. And give a little color and a little smokiness. I added some roasted red peppers. These I got out of the jar. I cheated. So if you want to roast your own, you do you is how I always say, right? And we have a little bit of fresh minced garlic going in. We definitely need that. And I'm putting it in the food processor. You could actually chop this. I'm just being a little lazy. And some fresh parsley is going in. And some fresh lemon juice is going in. Need that acidity to balance all that saltiness. And some olive oil right on in. And that's it. It's very, very simple. And this is so delicious. A very few chops. You could pulse it just a few times. I like to see chunks and I am perfect just like that. Like I said, no salt needed. Let me taste. Mmm. Wow. That is delicious. That is going to be so good. We're going to tuck this underneath the chicken thighs and it's going to be so delicious. Now let's get a stuffing. Okay, now we have our chicken thighs. What you want to do is you want to get your finger and start going underneath the chicken thigh here and loosen its skin up all the way to the end, but not all the way through, just almost like you're stuffing underneath your turkey at Christmas time, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our olive tamponade 
and don't be shy with it, right? We are stuffing these bad boys. Get that stuffing mix right on in there, just like so. Close it, push down, kind of, kind of spreads out the olive tamponade all underneath the skin there. And we're gonna paint the top of these with some paprika and some cumin olive oil. Uh, let me finish up the rest of these and then we're gonna get starting some slicing up some potatoes and onions that are gonna go underneath this. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, all of our chicken thighs have been stuffed. I have two russet potatoes. I started working right here on the other one. I'm just gonna take it through my trusty mandolin. If you don't have the mandolin, um, you can use, uh, just cut it very thin. I cut these about anywhere from a quarter to an eighth inch because they are gonna bake underneath the chicken thighs. And oh my God, all the fat from the chicken skin on the chicken thighs melt. And make sure you use your hand protector on this, not like I'm doing. It'll save you from destroying your hands. Uh, and this is gonna go underneath the wire rack that's a chicken and the fat is gonna melt all on this and the onions and it's gonna give it so much flavor. We have all of our sliced russet potatoes and onions in the tray here, a foil line tray. I find it easy to actually uh, clean up better. Of course, potatoes love salt and pepper. So you definitely want to salt and pepper your potatoes, even though you are going to be getting a lot of that fat dripping from uh, the chicken and all the flavorings from that tamponade is going to be coming down on top of these potatoes. And I just put just a tablespoon of olive oil in the, pan, in the sheet pan here. Not much because there's gonna be a lot, a lot of pan drippings from those chicken thighs. And right here I have paprika and cumin and some salt is gonna go right in to our olive oil. Right here, let's just stir this around. And what this is gonna be, this is gonna be our paint that's gonna go on top of the chicken. So this is how it's gonna work. Our chicken is stuffed and ready, goes right on top of the potatoes and onions, exactly like that. And this looks like it's all ready to roll here. So all I'm gonna do here, let's put this aside, is get this, my brush here, and paint on all this flavor. And don't worry if anything drips down into the bottom because it will. It's just gonna flavor up the potatoes. Oh my God, let me tell you, when people are eating this, they're like, wow, I never thought potatoes could be that flavorful. I mean, just from all the pan drippings down onto it, it's amazing. So let me finish these up and we'll pop it in the oven. Now I have the oven set at 375 degrees. It's already preheated. We are gonna go in for 55 minutes. Oh yes, that is going to be crispy skin, delicious, soft potatoes, just full of flavor. You're definitely, definitely going to love this. But now let's talk about this amazing wine, Argyle from Willamette Valley. It's a Pinot Noir. And I don't know if you're familiar with Willamette Valley. It's up in Oregon, which is just a great area for Pinot. Let me have a sip. Mm. Wow. I'm getting notes right away of cherry and cranberry. And I'm getting floral notes like rose petal. And hold on one more taste. I'm getting a little bit of like a five spice blend with a little bit of mocha also. This is just an amazing wine. It will definitely pair up with those briny olives and that chicken with the paprika perfectly. I can't wait for you to try this one. This is very, very delicious. So I am gonna be ready in 55 minutes to dig into this.
before I dig into this olive tamponade stuffed chicken thigh, I have to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday. But I can't wait any longer. I am ready. Okay. Let me cut some of this chicken off. Oh yeah. Let me get some potatoes too. These potatoes are like amazing. I'm going to make this plate a disaster. That's okay. I'm going to get them all at once here. Ready? Big bite. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. The hat is amazing. I just love the smokiness from the cumin and the color from that paprika and that nice saltiness and brininess from the kalamata olives and capers. This is an amazing one pat, one pot wonder. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff, and we'll see you next week.